Hello and welcome to Social Media for Your Business Online. This is Victor Campos. Today we're going to concentrate on using YouTube for your business, using the power of the YouTube social network to drive traffic to your business. Now, a lot of people don't think of YouTube as a social network because it's so focused, of course, on video. But if you think about the actions you can do on YouTube, those are the same actions that you can do on any other social network. You have likes, you have comments, you have subscribes, all of those things, just like on any social network. But of course, the big idea here is video. So in order for you to get any good use out of YouTube, you need a video. This tutorial is not going to focus on how to create a video. This is going to assume you have a video. We're going to focus on how to get subscribers and views on YouTube. The first tactic is to pay attention. That is, what's happening on YouTube and how can it benefit you? I'm on the YouTube homepage at the moment. I'm not signed in yet. And I'm going to take a quick browse on the trending videos on the homepage. So there are various movie trailers, sporting events, comedy. There are channels that are being recommended, The Ellen Show. There are topics like movies, trailers, Overwatch, video game, TED for education, etc. There are various suggestions about what I might be interested in as a consumer of YouTube. Because YouTube can be used as a consumer or as a creator. And you as a business, most likely then, would want to use it as a creator. You want to create videos that get views, that get you subscriptions. So taking a quick look at these, we've got this particular video, 8.7 million views, 3.6 million views, 171,000 views, 689,000 views. So yes, these videos have a lot of views. They're right on the home page. Scrolling further, 1.7 million, 42 million, 1.2 million, 427,000. Lots of views. And you may think, well, how can I get that many views if I don't have any subscribers? It's true that subscribers have a play a big role in your views. For example, Chris Fix has 1.4 million subscribers, so therefore his videos get 3.7 million views, 5 million views, 629,000 views. Aircraft has 134,000 subscribers, so they get many views correspondingly. The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon has 12 million subscribers. So you may think, well, I'm never going to get that many subscribers. I'm never going to get that many views. You can get many views even if you don't have many subscribers. Personally, there is a video that I've been involved in that has over 80,000 views. And that channel does not have those tens of thousands of followers that got that video viral to 80,000 views. What worked was the content. So the first tactic then is to think about content that people might be interested in by getting inspiration about what's hot, what's trending on the home page. And honestly, not a lot of these will probably relate to your company exactly, but you never know. You may see a video here that inspires you to create a video for your company, for your business, that will get you views. So I'm going to use the company Victor's Tech Reviews. The purpose of that fictional company is to review technology. So browsing these topics, I'm not quite seeing very much about tech reviews. I see cars and aircraft and such. But what you should be seeing from this homepage of inspiration is the range of types of videos how to super clean the inside of your windshield, oil change scams, hidden camera investigation, 10 things you didn't know about everyday objects, part two. The point here is to perhaps get inspiration from videos 
that are out there already and you do your variation of it. Maybe a video that answers a question. What would happen if you didn't drink water? How to do something quickly and effectively. Improve your aim in just 10 minutes. Maybe have something funny or interesting. The Office Season 5 bloopers. That could work for like a behind the scenes video of your company. Let's further dig down into this concept. You can go over to Best of YouTube on the left and look at specific types of content. Browse channels as well. As I browse these channels, there are various ones that could be related to your particular business, where again, you will look at these channels as inspiration about what kinds of videos to create. I'll also talk about other tactics to get followers soon. But your first goal is to create content. So are you in the gaming industry and you want to put videos out about video games, go browse these channels and see how they're creating their videos, their concepts. Is your company about beauty and fashion? Browse some of these channels about that topic to, again, get inspiration and ideas. Automotive, sports, technology. So as I said, I've got the fictional business Victor's tech reviews, and I want to put out videos about technology. So I'm going to take a quick browse on that topic. So I'm seeing some channels with a lot of subscribers in the million range, 900,000 range, 500,000 range. Again, not to get discouraged, but what I'm going to do regarding this is dig down deeper for ideas about videos. Mobile tech review. This has got 480,000 subscribers or followers. Mobile Tech Review brings you video reviews of the latest mobile technology, smartphones, Android tablets, Windows tablets, Ultrabooks, convertible laptops, cameras, iPhones, and iPad. The purpose of this is to see that the channel has a description, has a sort of biography, where it's got keywords that people could be searching for. When you create your YouTube channel, you have to think in those terms as well. You have a small amount of space in order to get your message across about what your channel is. And in that space, you'll also think about writing the keywords that people may be searching for. I won't subscribe yet, so I'll click to view the channel. A video begins playing when I visit the channel, but I'm going to scroll down to see there are sections. This is what's been uploaded. Sections of smartphone reviews, laptop reviews, comparisons and smackdowns, tablet reviews. Well, what this is, is a variety of videos that were created by this channel, organized into playlists or topics. People would be interested in these items, smartwatches and gadgets, Apple product reviews. This, for example, is Windows 10 running on a MacBook Pro. 139,000 views, uploaded two weeks ago. The Microsoft Band 2 review from five months ago. Here, on a regular basis, they're uploading a video. And creating content for YouTube is a lot more work than creating content for Twitter or for Facebook. But this was uploaded four hours ago. Keep your communications and entertainment private with, and it gets cut off. If I go to view the video or hover over, I can see with Nord VPN. So this is information that would be valuable to people that are interested in tech. It's not just reviews of technology that you may think of, but this is technology for keeping you safe online. There's a giveaway. They're giving something away here. That's an idea as well for some YouTube content. Can your company give something away? And then the comedy aspect is very strong on YouTube. LGV10 holiday giveaway and hear Lisa sing. So the reviewer, maybe she's got a good voice, maybe she doesn't. But here she sings and it's got 4,000 views from four hours ago. This other one has 1,600 views from four hours ago. So two videos were uploaded pretty simultaneously, but one has almost four times the number of views because of the content, the thumbnail, and other factors. I'm going to go look at videos tab here. Looking at the competition is also useful to figure out 
how I can market my videos. This is a tech review website. Mine is a tech review website. So I'm seeing what they're doing and how I can do it. It's pretty much straightforward photos of the products with some text. These thumbnails are the first thing people see and entice them to click or not. There is the text below it, but if I see a compelling kind of photo, like Lisa about to sing in her Santa hat, that might entice me more to click rather than a very basic photo of the product with a little text. Notice how this one stands out also from the other ones. The other thumbnails are like gray and white, and then this one is black. The MSI GT 72VR Dominator Pro Review. And this one that's big and red, the Origin Eon 17X 10 Series Review. This one also stands out here, camera comparison, iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus versus Samsung. So this is a completely kind of different kind of picture than the rest of the tech that catches my eye, and that's got 89,000 views. Photos with a person also catches your attention. This thumbnail with Lisa catches more attention perhaps than the technology, than the, than the piece of technology instead of the person, and that is reflected with 196,000 views. Also the topic, Samsung Galaxy Note 7 Recall, what you need to know. So a useful video for people that have that phone, that device. From three months ago, five minutes long, and nearly 200,000 views. Over here is another one. There's Lisa with a bunch of technology, a bunch of laptops. Laptops. What I would and wouldn't buy. October 2016 edition. So an opinion piece. A sort of mega review of several laptops. 12 minutes long. Over three quarters of a million views. She has here on this channel... 480,000 subscribers, but that does not guarantee 480,000 views on every video, and that often means many views, many views even by the number of subscribers. I can go look on the About screen to see how long this channel's been around since 2008. So they've had time to accumulate subscribers, yes, but it's also their content. It's organized into playlists so I can go focus on a particular topic. I may want to go look at Windows Phone Reviews. I can click that playlist and see this variety of Windows devices. Check Blackboard for more ideas on types of videos. So at this point, let's assume you've got a video and you want views to it. You want views to your channel. You want subscribers. I'm logged into my channel. I have a video. It's the best budget phone of 2016, Moto E. I have a title with keywords and a concept that will hopefully get people to pay attention on a topic that I think people are interested in. The thumbnail shows me and the phone. I could have also done something more creative in Photoshop to catch people's attention. There's a description with more keywords of what people can search for and I'm free to also add links inside of that description. I can add a hashtag to the description, which will become an active link. When someone clicks that, it will do a YouTube search of every video with that keyword. If you've got a long video, five minutes, 10 minutes or more, you can put chapter stops or section stops simply by writing the time code in the description, which will then become an active link after publication. So I have here minutes, colon, seconds. At 0, 032 seconds, I've got step one or section one or whatever I want to say there. And then at 1 minute, 25 seconds, I've got the next item. So if it's a long video, instead of people jumping around the video trying to find an interesting part, I can set up chapter stops to guide people a little easier. So I want to get traffic to this video. Let's look at some tactics for that. I'm going to copy the link to my video. I'm going to go to a channel about the topic of my channel. I'll go back to Mobile Tech Review. 
I'll go back to the Mobile Tech Review channel. <laughs> because what I can do to increase my views is to piggyback on the views of another more popular video. Now these tactics that I'm going to talk about in YouTube could easily be abused. They could be spammy. They could be annoying to people. If you do them in moderation, however, you should get good results. So as I started to say, I'm going to piggyback on the popularity of another video to help the popularity of my video. I'm seeing that Mobile Tech Review is popular, nearly half a million subscribers. One of the latest videos from four hours ago had 4,000 views. So I'll click the video to focus on the video. There may be an ad. I'm going to ignore the video for the moment. The way you piggyback on the popularity of a video is you have the ability to comment. Add a public comment. If I comment here, in theory, many people could see my comment because there's, also, there's already been 83 comments over here of people chiming in on the video. So if I also chime in, you might see my comment and give me traffic. So for example, I want to add something constructive to the comments and then slip in and add a stealth ad to my own video. Great take on some great tech. My own look at the Moto E might be useful. And then I paste the link of my video. After I publish this, this will become an active link. So as more people, as thousands of more views come in, my comment will be there and people will see it and people may click to view my video. I have 11 views on this video so far. Let's see if I get any more after these tactics. So I'm going to comment. Now, as I said about this being spammy or abused, I will not go to all of these videos and comment and say, look at me, look at my video, follow me, etc. That's spam. Judiciously, I'm going to choose to comment on a video that is relevant so that I can add my relevant video to the description. Depending how the channel is run, they may go in and remove comments. Every YouTube channel has that ability. So if I were to go over to another video, video, I may be tempted to add another comment. This has got more views and more comments. But again, I won't be abusing this ability. I'll do it once this month for this channel. I'll go to another check channel and comment there, but always thinking in terms about adding something constructive to the conversation. Let me jump over to a completely different channel, Android Police. So there are a variety of videos to choose from. From eight hours ago, 3,000 views. I can go to an older one from three months ago with 56,000 views. The point is I'm going to piggyback on the popularity of another channel. So if I go look at the top, three Android smartphones of 2016, there are 112 comments here. So I can add my own. Here's a variation on that. What if I look at the top comments that someone else has posted and reply to that comment? I'm still being part of the popularity of this video, but now I'm piggybacking on top of the popularity of a popular post on a popular video. Devendra here, has had one of the top comments with 28 thumbs up. Don is coming up here too with nine thumbs up. And Devendra is also replying to people. So I'm going to do it this way instead. I'm going to reply to a top comment on a top video and say, on topic, of course, I simply don't want to say, watch my video, click and paste. I want to think about what can I say to the original poster that's on topic, where then I can segue my own link, my own video into the conversation. I'll say, you may be right. Or, 
it was a slip of the tongue. I know I make a few flubs here and there on my videos, but I nailed this one on the Moto E. Devendra may then go watch my video. Someone else may see my comment and go watch my video. There's lots of comments, so I can further go off to someone else here. Reply to Waxwalbo88. But this again can be abused because I'm not going to go and reply to every co comment, even the top ones, because I'll look like a spammer. Let me jump over to someone else. Crystal Key. This video has 203,000 views and 1,162 comments. Morris wrote, Please do a camera comparison between the Note 7 and the Nexus 6. If I had a video about that topic or related to that topic, it'd be ripe for a reply. I'll go ahead and try that. This is not quite true, but I'll say, I or we tested the Moto E versus Note 7, and it was pretty close. Check the review here. So if this were answering his question especially, he might go check out my video because he gets a notification. YouTube would say, Victor's Tech replied to your comment. And he might go over then to watch my video. Further jumping around, I can go over to Lamar Wilson's video. And same sort of tactic, go see who's commenting and comment. So I can either comment on the main video, I can comment on a comment. I can change the view to newest first. So from a week ago, Mariah might still be active. So... If I reply, Lamar makes the best videos. My own are their own special style. Add an emoji, the video, and reply. So I could get views from people that see my comment. I could get views from Mariah herself here. So you see, getting views and subscribers on YouTube, I think it's one of the more challenging things because it's about creating the video and also promoting it in this sort of way by making yourself active. Because depending on your content and how you market it, you could create a video that is really interesting and useful to people like this is one that we created in the business that I work for. Build an Android app with Visual Studio 2015 in five minutes. Uploaded a year ago, it's got 90,000 views. Oh, more than I thought at this point. But it has less views than the official Microsoft Visual Studio account. But it's placed higher in these results. It's one of the highest viewed videos about this topic. So the topic of your videos, the concept, the usefulness of the video is one thing, but then it goes hand in hand with promoting your video by then piggybacking on other videos. Checking back on my original video, I've got 12 views. I started off with, uh, I think, 10 or 11 at the start of this video, and now there's 12. So little by little. But who knows, you may get a viral hit that really takes off and is valuable for people. So with this crash course in YouTube, hopefully you get ideas about what you can do with it and how it can be successful for you. Because YouTube is another social network that can be very important for your business. This has been Victor Campos. Thank you for watching.